So what do we know about that house, the 2379? Is no, it abandoned? It's abandoned. Nobody okay. lives there, but I don't know if you saw all his clothes and stuff. Man. He's completely naked wherever he's at. And there's <clears> blood <throat> on his underwear. All right, so we got 27. White male. There we go. Wouldn't let him have that. Cool. You want me to have it or just this? Yeah. Okay. Ready, 33, 27. 39, 89, 48, 60. It's going to be a 27 that was located in the backpack. <clears throat> I live right up there on Soda Springs, yeah. and I can kind of tell the vehicles, but I ain't never seen the vehicle. Contacts. All right, called you, kid. So it looks like a... Oh, yeah. my yeah. goodness. Uh-oh. Yep. That's why I didn't want to leave it back. Dad, or he's a delivery boy. <laughs> Six four ten zero four county. You got that verbal license? Yeah. Lifeguard. He's got a, a red whistle in his on his rearview mirror. It's a wonder he didn't get killed. Cause he craned a tree. On the Where, where's side. the cart? Behind us? It's uh, back there. Okay. Around his den. <clears throat> I'm not collecting up the clothes, but I'm taking this. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna go through the rest of it. I'm thinking if he's from Missouri City, he's still on foot. You want me to go back and hit a pumper and jump 86? Uh, I came. I came off of Spruce. I wanted to come from Luling North. I yeah. didn't see nobody, but I never hit I came the side from, roads. I came from 1322. So we met in the middle. Yeah. <clears throat> Tell you what, the uh, he said there was an abandoned house up there. Yeah. So that house in Did the right window, and I'm about to check it out. But it has the curtains are open. Some don't have curtains, so I was able to see through it. Small house. On the right window, it looks like there's something hanging on a, a ladder, like a shirt or a jacket. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go back and check it out. Okay, go check that out. All right. That's what I saw. That's why I didn't yeah. find it. Two thirty-three. Also, here fourteen. There's gonna be a small barn next to it. <sighs> Sheriff's office. Hello, Sheriff's Office!
the information, we were informed that a door was believed to be open on the shop and there were lights on inside. All doors are secure. There are lights on inside. Carl County Sheriff's Office. Hey, it's Cameron with Southie Fire. How are you tonight? Hello, how may I help you? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'll still let you know. It's Kelly with Southeast. Uh, I just come off of 1322 on the Salt Flat Road, and uh, I'm about, I'm going to say, five or six miles off of the highway, and I just come up on a vehicle that's in a ditch, and it appears that it's going to be a, he hit a fence. There's clothing and shoes all in the, in the uh, roadway. Okay. Um, you said at FM 1322 and Salt Flat Road? Yes, ma'am. It's going to be about five miles off of Salt Flat. Okay. And do you, do you, is there anybody inside the vehicle that you can see? I'm, I'm just going to run back up there and see, but there's a backpack and some shoes all on the road, but I'm going to run back up here and check them out. And then I'll give you a call back. Okay. All righty, man. But they uh they are still in a ditch, but I'm gonna go make contact with them. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Bye bye. Hey, just that. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did you find a driver? I have not. I've went up and down Salt Flat, and I haven't located him yet. But uh, it appears that he grabbed a backpack or something out of his car, and he's thrown it in the middle of the road along with a like a cup that smelt like alcohol and he's stripped out of his clothes wherever he's at and there's some blood on his clothes. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we will uh, get a deputy out there because the trooper's still a little ways out. Alrighty, yeah, because he's got, he took out some fence and his back windshield's not completely out and it's got severe front and rear damage to it. Okay. But I, I don't know where he's at. I've been up and down trying to find him, but I haven't located him yet. Other than that abandoned house that's on here, and I wasn't going to go up there, I figured that would be a law enforcement issue. Okay, and it's on Salt Flat, four miles north of Pumper? Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. Well, all right, bye-bye. Thanks, What highway, what is this, one, whatever they call this, Salt Flat Road or whatever, on the washboard. And these are Jason's clothes lying in the road. It's hard to see. Those are two pairs of socks, socks, shorts. It's underwear. I'm about, oh, I don't know, 20 feet ahead. You couldn't really see him. This is his flip-flops. This is his t-shirt. You can see where the, at least this is where they went. I don't know, those are the track marks, and you can go down here, and you can see where the car went off. You can see the wheels and hit down here by this tree and fence. And Jason walked this way towards Luling or whoever. God, please be with him. This is where I found um, Jason's stuff um, right you know, right there, right, uh, right where the, those rocks in the road are, about, you know, 30 feet. This is his toiletry bag for when he came home with his toothbrush and shaving cream, and that's his drink cup. And the car ran off the road right around this curve. The, um, you can see that where you go in, that's the uh, oil field thing. And then right around that curve, about a, oh, I don't know, 50 feet past that, you can see where it ran off the road. So this is, I don't think 200, you know, I don't think it's a, you know, maybe a football field, maybe a little bit more where I found his stuff, his clothes lying in the road. Oh, God, be with him.